let's see the demo of uh, CCTV audit monitoring for warehousing. So the cameras are installed in warehouses for, for the purpose of uh, monitoring. But we have seen uh, real-time monitoring is uh, not at all possible as the number of warehouses and number of cameras increases because you cannot see the CCTV 24 by 7. So we have developed a platform where we capture the photographs every uh, 15 minutes and represented in a view which is shown hourly view. So you come to know uh, what is happening at your warehouse in a single screen uh, just by crawling and looking at the, the, the images. You can use... Uh, 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 click of button just to enlarge the photograph and see how the loading or unloading is happening by clicking uh, on the next button. Uh, it also provides uh, analytics where number of people seen here, you can see the seven persons have found. So analytics will provide you the information in terms of number of people which are visible in the particular photograph frame. So by using this, you can definitely look at uh, 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 what happened in your warehouse yesterday, day before yesterday or uh, now. You come to know certain patterns like time for which trucks is present. So in this case, this particular truck is available for almost like three hours. This truck is available here for two hours. Uh, uh, this particular truck is standing there for almost like more than five hours. So by looking at this pattern itself, you'll be able to know. Plus, you've got a method by which you can capture the, uh, the number plate and still monitor it further. So using this information, you can uh, audit your CCTV uh, 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 or your warehousing uh, very well. So some of the use cases can be, uh, I can check what happened at my warehouse on every day morning, say at 10 o'clock. So I see the photograph uh, and, and we'll be able to see certain patterns. So I can clearly view here that the truck, this particular truck is came on uh, two days consecutively. Uh, similarly, uh, this particular truck is almost coming every day uh, to my warehouse. Uh, is visible. We will be able to know uh, how the material movement is happening uh, across the days uh, uh, is clearly visible. Uh, looking at the photographs, we can immediately see uh, how the material movement and material movement patterns are happening. Uh, you can uh, select two different photographs and do a compare view. So in a compare view, uh, you can just see uh, this particular is the 9th of June and against 9th of June, uh, what is the material movement happened on the 16th of June is possible to be viewed, which helps you out to see whether FIFO is getting followed uh, or uh, uh, not or what methodology is getting followed, your warehouse is clean or not or any infrastructure changes in the warehouse is also possible to be uh, seen through this particular uh, platform. Uh, then every day uh, we generate uh, a time lapse video of what happened at the warehouse, uh, which is just a 45 seconds of video uh, compressed together. Uh, so you come to know uh, uh, what activity happened yesterday on your warehouse. This can be sent out to the warehouse manager or a cluster manager uh, to know uh, whether any deviations are happening. So this helps you out to again further do auditing uh, uh, in terms of what happened. So you can clearly see how the loading unloading is happening whether there are any, whether any deviations are there. You can clearly see here uh, in, in last trend, we can see uh, people are sleeping uh, is also visible just because of uh, this particular video. So this helps you out to audit again in the form of video. Uh, depending upon the type of uh, uh, warehouse, we can install uh, a camera of a different type. So this is another example of installing a fisheye camera where I can see full warehouse uh, in a single uh, screen. Uh, and and how the material is kept uh, is visible uh, here. Similarly, you can use a compare view here to checkpoint. Now, once you do uh, auditing, you will find out certain issues uh, or certain deviations uh, on on that particular warehouse, and these deviations can be marked as a ticket. So you can raise a tickets uh, uh, for a specific activity, and these tickets are uh, uh, trackable or traceable through a photograph itself. So these are the different types of tickets which are uh, open. So here one of the warehouse person is sleeping on a material. So the ticket is raised. So ticket has got a photograph. So these people are sitting on the material which is which should not be done, but is visible. And this is tracked as a ticket. Uh, and the ticket life cycle uh, needs to be followed uh, where I will add the comment uh, in terms of uh, work in progress, which means I'll, I'll ask uh, uh, to take a training to the uh, team members that they should not behave in this way, which is documented with the evidence also. 
So warehouse uh, uh, monitoring using CCTV is one of the best way where you can do auditing of uh, all the solution. And you also have a dashboard which is getting created in terms of number of sites which are available, number of cameras which are there, total number of photographs captured and different types of ticket which are raised for your uh, warehouse and what is the ticket life cycle which is uh, uh, going on. So uh, 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 definitely with this particular platform, uh, it will help you out uh, uh, to monitor your warehouse effectively uh, with the evidences uh, and uh, that can help you out in terms of uh, providing a right training to your team members, uh, checking whether SOPs are getting followed or not. Uh, and uh, analytics will further help you out to find out uh, how your uh, people are uh, there in the warehouse by just searching a different uh, uh, tags. So you can see it will just show the number of people uh, more than zero and that photographs, which clearly indicates here that uh, uh, we see uh, uh, in warehouse the uh, people are coming after 10. Uh, at 9, I don't see any photograph showing the, the people. Maybe outside uh, photograph has got person detected. So these type of pattern can also be used uh, to checkpoint uh, different activity using AI or analytics. Uh, uh, this is available as a cloud hosted solution uh, and also as a service where our team provides uh, SOP based monitoring. Uh, where tickets will be raised by our team, sent out to your uh, the uh, the warehousing uh, team, which has to act on the tickets, uh, and the whole ticket lifecycle will also be monitored. Thanks a lot.